Welcome to week three of Using Educational Technology in the English Language Classroom. Our topic this week is the use of technology for teaching grammar. In this lecture, we'll talk about the connection between technology and grammar. Then we'll meet our grammar expert, Professor Bethany Gray. We'll ask Professor Gray why grammar is so important for students, what teachers should know about grammar, and then what advice she would have for teachers. There are important connections between technology and grammar. Technology provides access to many different ways for students to study grammar. Also, technology has changed the way that linguists study grammar. We talked about corpus linguistics in the first lesson. Teachers can find many resources to help teach grammar on the internet. We'll take a quick look at two examples for grammar teaching, Everyday Grammar from Voice of America and Corpus of Contemporary American English that you've already been introduced to. This is an example of Everyday Grammar TV on the Voice of America website. It has a number of lessons on specific grammatical points, such as adverbs, prepositions, such as far, with, and to, demonstratives, and so on. Each one of these lessons has an explanation and lots of examples for students to see and work with. In this example in Everyday Grammar on the Voice of America website, we see this explanation of reported speech. The speaker gives an example of what reported speech is, and the student can listen to the explanation of how reported speech is used and how it's formed grammatically. Students and teachers can complement that explanation of reported speech by taking a look at how reported speech using said that is used in actual everyday English language. This is an example of what we find in the corpus of contemporary American English if we do a search for the phrase said that. There are lots of examples here to look at how this expression is used and so it gives students an idea of how reported speech works in everyday language. <laughs> 